So the first game I'm going to look at is by Frontier and it's Jurassic World uh, Evolution. Basically this is a simulation of you running uh, your own Jurassic World and it is absolutely fantastic. This game is free at the moment on um, Games with Gold so I fully advise picking this up for free because it is incredible. Um, let me just have a look at the games, have a look at the couple more worlds but basically it's just a, a simulation and you just do everything and anything you can let's have a let's take a peek shall we so as it stands at the moment i've actually unlocked two islands so let's look at my main island which is the island you start with i'll tell you you cannot get more sim in this game it's fantastic that's what i love about it the, the graphics are beautiful and sharp and look fantastic but it's loads of the small little details in the game which really make this game shine um, so let's take a look at my island oh i might as well add as well the uh, you can take control of a lot of the stuff in it as you, i will show you which is fantastic so let's have a look at my island So that's what I've built so far. I recently just put it in a monorail, actually. Um, so this is my, this is going to be my carnivore. Oh, this is the island you start off with, and it, it doesn't look like this, as you will find out if you play the game. Um, but um, yeah, I put a monorail in. But this is going to be my carnivore island. So in here, I've got. Um, let me zoom in on these. Where are you, you little, you little monsters? There. In here, I've got something called a uh, stratosaurs. I've got three of those. An alpha in there, and there's three of those. In here is going to be my dinosaur pen. Um, I filled it with goats actually. I've got a load of goats in there just to give them something to start off. And here I've got a few um, herbivores, but I'm going to release some raptors into there. And if they've got a big pen, I've given them quite a big pen because I'm going to fill that up. So you've got your monorail, you've got your power stations and stuff like that, gift shops and all the usual thing you can get. But you also got things like this ranger station, so I can take control. And I can give them a task, and I can say like before I release my release my um, raptors in here. Responding need to, to resupply request. I can send them out, and they will go and drive out and resupply. But the fantastic thing about this game is, I can actually take control of the vehicles and do the job myself. So look at this. This is brilliant. I can't do is big my home. So you've got to <laughs> move, move, move. Look at this. How fantastic is this? I can actually drive around now my world that I've created. And I'll tell you what, when you drive around it yourself, I mean, look at this, <laughs> this slope I've built for people to walk on. Um, look at that. How crazy is this? Yo, oh, sorry. Yeah, you can knock people over and they will sue you. Um, oh, I. Move. I'm trying to find my way into oh, there we go. So this is where I'm going to put the dinos. I feel it with goats from rough from Demontron. But I do need to fill up these things, so let me go in here. I'll do this myself mainly. So these are my um wherever they're called. So I need to re restock these. You can get the computer to do it, which is fine, but the computer doesn't have the um the skills I do, so sometimes he gets battered. So I resupply these food things. I've got a lot of money as you can see, I've got like 20 million. You can start off with 1 million. So, yeah, you know, the place is doing really well. Um, I can do that. 
and it hands it back over to the AI, who then drives it back for me and does whatever. Um, you've got things like these, and I can send a helicopter out to track um, animals if they need to be transported, um, or if there's problems or anything. And they can also airlift dinosaurs out, move them, and do all sorts of things like that. But you can also, once again, you can also take control, pilot the helicopter, and fly the helicopter around your base. I've put Monorail in, and actually I am ready to release some dinosaurs. The Dilophosaurus lacks front-facing binocular eyes, a trait common to almost every predator. So instead, it hunted by scent. And now, many predators rely on that sense as well. So there we go. You can, you can actually watch them, you can take photos, you can sort of watch them and just see what they get up to. You can rename them and all sorts. So let me release. Let's give him a buddy. Let's not watch him be released. Off you go, my guy. And they've got a load of, go load of goats there. <laughs> I filled the pet up with goats for the Tamanchon. But um, the new attraction that I'm bringing into my place will be over here. Oh, yes. Managed to really make people rangers. So let's have a look at this, shall we? journey is really just a series of small, sometimes random, chaotic, if you will, steps. Hey. You've just taken one. Step. Off. <laughs> How cool is this game? They've really gone to town on the detail here. He's hunted that goat like that. To New Island. Look at that! That island was a land of wonder and life. Yep. Impossible, primal, instinctual, predatory, prehistoric life and death. This would be Isla Nublar's legacy. Not Hammond's dream of a Jurassic Park, but something altogether more. Cheers, um, Jeff. You're sort of interrupting my um, my thingy here. Uh, right, yeah, so these little dinosaurs are unlocked, and they start off at 0%, and you have to find more and more fossils and stuff to unravel them. And you can you could actually release them at 50%, but I like to get mine to 100%. You can also do DNA stuff, so you can alter DNA, so like them ones I've already, so they live longer, they have a longer life. Um, so these are found 100% on. So I don't like to release, as I said, my dinosaurs until I've got 100% of them. So then in my other island I'll be releasing soon. Um, what I'm going to do is hatch a few more raptors in there. And a few more diamonds. Let's have a look at the dialogues. So this is this island so far. Oh, the raptors. I've got other dinosaurs on there. I have an uh, Edmontosaurus. That's feeding. If you basically have to keep the upkeep of the dinosaurs and make money, uh, let me have a look at my other island, shall we? Actually, actually, before I go, I've just realised I've got a dinosaur die. 
So, um... Oh, he killed... So the raptor, as planned, has killed some of the live bait I've put in there. So what I do, I can go to this. Transport team. And he will lift out a dino, because you don't want diseases to spread. Asset. Comes with this. So I did put some dinosaurs in it just to give them something to hunt. Because I didn't want just them living off goats and stuff. So I can't like I'm giving these little things to hunt. Look at that. And brilliant. Brilliant! Can I release more raptors? Almost done. When they're done, I'll release more, so there'll be a pack of, a pack of raptors in there. Transit has been left. Do as they please. Because they'll take that as well. Interesting to watch. Okay, yeah, anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I was going to look at my other island. Just remove it from me. Oh, I might add the extra, the other fun little bitch you can do in this is, like, you can go to your hotel, and I can look at the view from my hotel room. You. Oh. Love you. I think my next place I'll build the view so it looks dinosaurs. Cause... Whereas the mountains are lovely. It's just... You know. Uh... Oh, look at this. Check this out. The view from a monorail. It's raining now, but the view from a monorail that I built. Look at this. I built this now to take me over. Pretty much all the part. There's a whole new area up here I've not even built it yet, which I'm going to work on. So that's going to take me around that now. How brilliant is this? Look. This is all the area I'm going to build into, you see, so I'm sort of setting it all up and I'm going to build a big massive bit here. And I'm, it's been a little while ago, I've got some T Rexes here if I get them. You know, I've got these monorails going all over the T Rexes. But it's going on. This, how I built it, it should go over where all the raptors are. <laughs> Look at that. I've got a view of just above the monorail, I guess. So this island's uh, a bit on a slope and it suffers from a lot of storms. Um, so I'll sort of turn this into my herbivore island. I'm going to put just sort of herbivores on there basically. They're things that eat plants. Um, so, yes, because of the storms there's a chance of things like your power going down a lot and I don't really want carnivores roaming around eating people. So I figured if I put herbivores on there, if they break out there should be less collateral damage to civilians, basically in a nutshell. Um, so, what, so I've got things like um, Hynus Asconosaurus things. These things. This is stand with a viewing platform if you can view. You get your money. Uh, what else have I got? I've got something else in here, but there's some other things in here, but they're all in the trees, it appears. They like the trees. There's other things in here. Um, believe me. You can go into this and I've just shown you the hatching bay. Have I got anything else I can unlock there? So I've got, yeah, so there's them in there. I'm going to put anclos in there. There's already chunkier sauruses in there. Um, and I'm going to create a bigger space for my triceratops. And my uh, Cotosaurus and some more Edmunds and them, them things. So I'm going to stick all these in this thingy. Um, so you've got all sorts of things like um, the fossils. You can send them out to um, click fossils. There you go. This is what I mean by. So I can sell that. Take a bow. You've earned it. Unlock these. And see the percentage there? That slowly goes up. Entertainment division and then I can send them out because of you. So you're getting a reward and everything. Send them out around the world to uncover more st stuff for me. So I've got black velociraptors at four. So I can say I need more of this. So I'll send my chopper out. And he should go off and do some rubber shot monkeys. Understand. Expedition team. 
Um, so, and that's basically that. This, as I said, this is much smaller lines. I'm still working on this. Um, but, you know, just to finish on, this game is um, in gold. Games with gold at the moment. So it's absolutely free. So I urge you all to go and pick this up because it's free. You're saving yourself £40. Um, not sure what that is in dollars, but buy it. So, next on my list is Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. So, unlike all the... This, I play a lot of these uh, fighters. I do like these style, style of fighters. Um, but the, the best thing about this one, I think, is it's such easier to get into. Um, it's much less complex, much me less running around a big sort of town sort of scape. You, you, you pretty much get straight into the action. And there's a nice balance to it as well. Um, Customisation's okay, but um, generally, sorry, I keep burping. Generally, the game's just a lot more fun. It's just a lot more easier and simple to get into, and the world because it's well balanced. Anyone can just jump in, do PvP, and you're sort of on a, a sort of a level a level pegging. So it's it's good fun. Um, so it's so unlike the others like Jump Force, which I didn't enjoy too much at all. Um, which is also in Game Pass. Oh, I must add, this game is in Game Pass, so you can pick this up cheaply in Game Pass. Um, but this game is game, game Pass as well as Jump Force, but Jump Force I didn't enjoy too much. Um, it's, probably, it's probably the worst, worst out of all these starter games. But let's have a look at this game. So as I said, it's quite easy to get into. I've never really, I am a big anime fan. Watch the Dragon Ball Z's and stuff like that and all other anime. Never really watched Naruto though. But um, by playing this, you can pretty, you can pick up pretty much, fairly quickly what's going on. And um, there is sort of a story to it. Um, not that much of a fantastic story. I don't think it's built around fantastic story at all. It's built around just leveling and PvP really. Um, as I said, here's the town. And this is it, it's just one big circle. So you got everything. Uh, the other games they send to just send you all over the place, running battles of fords, and it just gets really tiresome. You just can't be bothered. Um, so you've got a, a shop there. You've got a thing you can unlock stuff there. You've got a training master there, and then you basically got PvP area up there, and you've got solo missions up there. That is it. It's that simple. And you've got very else other little side quests you can do for XP. This is my character, um, and he's got special abilities and powers which you can choose let's go you can train under whatever you want so and as you level them up they give you skills and abilities so that's basically how you gain them so um so that's what i've been doing <laughs> level them and then all of them getting as many as big a selection of powers that i can so that's masters and things and at this lady, it shows you um, weapons I've got. So I'm choosing the S, which is highest class. Ninja tools, that's me, demon uh, wind shuriken that chases people. Um, I'm a range class. All my costumes, it's just the tops. This is wide range. Bottoms, headgear. Um, and there's my ninjutsu. So uh, these are my two. Nice selection of. Then you've got your defense power, which when they knock you, when, when you're getting an attack on you, you can use this and you can escape. And it does something like one will blind them, one will leave explosions, one will capture them. Got um, several specials. I've got, like, for example, I, was just, I think I showed you this one, where you um, leave the imitation version yourself, which expands. And expands. Ages. <laughs> um, I summon two like demon gods that hit someone, and you know, as, as it's got standard defense, does damage. Um, you, you turn into a giant archer and you can fire these bolts of arrows uh, that just breathes massive fire flames, like dragon breath. So you've got various bits and powers and things like that to mix up, and that, that is just a ranger class, um, healer class, defense class, and strike class has it all its own options for all these which is fantastic get into i'm quite high level i'm a level 83 which is quite a high level for this game but let me get into a pvp game so i think because this is this start of game i think the best way i can just show you what happens in the game is by just jumping into a match and you're just watching me have a couple of matches 
So let's have a look at that. But more or less, there's not very much really to say about the game. It's a great game. It's on Game Pass, as I said. So yeah, Game Pass you can pick up really cheap. Um, but this is a worthwhile download just to give it a go and see if you can get into it. As I said, it is better than the other fighters. Um, so it is, deserves a lot more recognition than the, probably what it is getting. So let me go into a match now. What'll it be? I've unlocked more matches because I'm sort of high level, so. I'll put myself into this battle. The only, the only downside to this is there is a lot of downside downtime on the things like waiting. Waiting for matches, waiting, just, there's a lot of little loady bits. Uh, that's the only frustration to the game, but let's have a go now of this. Believe in yourself. Basically, what you got is you got a light attack and a strong attack. I'm playing a ranged character, so my strengths are in ranged attacks. Um, I can do two powers, two main powers, which is uh, I can even as I've chosen because you get to choose what powers I'm doing. You can gain them as you level up and whatever. Um, that's the for it. That does start actually targets people and chases people around and rick shuffles it's quite a good sort of thing. Um rather yeah. uh, various things like the yeah, can wall run, you can fire this thing out, which clings to walls, sort of like a <laughs> spider web kind of thing. I think they've actually been. Um I've chosen a salamander I can put down. Summoning salamander! Which is defensive salamander. Spit poison. And if they go near it, it will take away their abilities. I can do this. Shuns a bird and grabs them. And if you fall off there, you will be knocked out. So that's why you've got to stay. Okay. And you do eventually get... Or if you get hit, you get one chance at doing a lot of retaliation thing. It's very fast paced, very quick, and that's why I like it. Hey, trying to get me, trying to knock me off here. Salamander. 
best defense. Now I can use my special, which I'll summon these. So on that fight, it wasn't a very good fight, I know it was boss ones, basically you got to defend the boss and they're not very good actually. It's... Most times that the um, the defenders win because trying to wipe to take out three or four people while trying to take down their boss is just ridiculous. It's really unbalanced. It's all about balance earlier, but it's a really unbalanced mode. I don't know why they put it on it. Let's look at something else. So yeah, you get uh, four classes you can choose to play. You can be a, a, a ranged character, uh, a melee character, a defense character, or a healing character, each with their own unique sort of abilities and things you can unlock. And there is quite a lot of powers and abilities you can unlock. Um, you get basically two um, secondary powers, you get um, another sort of quick power, and then you get a special power. Um, and you obviously get your uh, strong attack and weak attacks forms, sort of melee forms. Um, so you, the, there's a wide range of powers and um, weapons and clothes that you can pick. So all that's good. There's various modes you got there. So they just showed a minute ago the boss mode. You got to defend a boss. You got to catch the flag. You have got an all out fight mode, and then you've got to defend an area mode. Um, and then you've got side quests. We can just do little uh, quests which help you get XP and unlock extra bonuses and stuff. So you can sort of, just as this picture shows, you can team up with other characters from the Naruto and fight their enemies. And you help them out. You've just got little quests and things you've got to do in that. So that's all quite fun. So overall, the game is very good. As I said, very good, very fun, very quick to get into. Unlike sort of the Jump Force example and short Dragon Ball Z games, this is just much more easy. You can just run around have a couple of matches of PvP and then um, slog off and there's no worries. Um, the XP is fast and flowing. I think I've got about 30 hours into the game so you know I'm speaking with experience here. <laughs> the XP is fast and flowing here. Um, but let me have another game. I don't know what's going to choose me. For some reason the, the network lap won't let me go to the high level matches where I can have decent matches. So it's just I'm just doing a quick match. I don't know what it's going to choose for me. So hopefully it won't choose me another boss match, which are the worst modes in the game, because they're just silly. I'll show you why they call me. So we have a flag battle. So it's just catch the flags, which my character's not really built for catch the flags, it's not very fast. And I'm based on range, so um, but let's see how this goes anyway. Powerless jumps, you can jump far. Let's show it up. Catch the wall and use my thingy. Get myself around quicker. Wait until you see what I've learned. Lightning oh. shot. Lightning net. Oh. Right into the trap. You can't shoot your face. Show some jump powers and all just so I can show you what else got. Uh, he's, a, he's a melee class, so I'm not going to be I'm not going to defeat a melee class. And obviously he needs to stand there guarding the um, flag from being taken. Range, uh, ranged characters like myself are squishy, they've got weak health and weak melee. So, really good. Be on the ball with the um, range. Okay, here goes. Flag. 
Let's go, team! Nice move. Let's make a move for it. Come on, boys. Huh? I'm gonna lose the camp. <laughs> yeah! Hey, yeah! These are hard as you can imagine. No holding back! Flags are going to attack. Everyone's over there at the left leg. Hey, yuck! That's the spot! You can just defend this guy's right. Hurry! Pick up the flag! Super B! Still got mics, it'd be a lot easier if people spoke the mic so you can know. Don't get attacked by two people at a time. Flags on the ground. Any team. There we go. Actually got come bottom, but I actually got a really good score. One of them, one of them guys quit out. So there we go. That's generally how a capture the flag, for example, works. 
be nice if people were on the mic so you can communicate more and mix up what classes you are so you know you can have more people defending whatever taking turns whatever but there it goes good to play with a friend but yes i highly recommend this game uh, it's on game pass so if you've already got game pass it's it's practically free so as i said i recommend downloading it and give it a go uh, let's move on to now the final game that i've been playing recently and i've really enjoyed so the last game I'm going to look at is Tabs, totally accurate battle simulator. It's a game that's sort of like Age of Empires, but with ragdoll effect characters, and it's very fun, very easy to get into. Um, you've got lots of different character types and campaign types, which I'll go into in a minute. But the game's uh, free on a preview program at the moment, and I suggest you just all have a jump in it and have a look at it. Um, it's very easy to go into. It's, it's good, good fun if you can kids can get into it. Um, but the game is just generally like easy going. Um, it's not going to win awards, but it's free to try it. It's brilliant. Um, but let's have a quick look at some of the game mechanics and details. Um, so basically, what it is, as you can see, it's like um, like a turn-based uh, Age of Empires kind of game, but we've sort of you know the, the stick um, figure sort of characters um ragdoll that's it they've got like ragdoll effects and stuff so it makes it a lot more um fun and a lot more humorous um and you can play different things you've got a campaign mode and you've got a sandbox mode so let's have a quick look at the campaign mode so to round up here are the different modes you've got the introduction mode that basically talks you through how the game works you've got adventure mode uh, challenge mode, dynasty mode, the dynasty campaign, renaissance campaign, pirate campaign, and a spooky campaign. So there we go. So you've got plenty of fun campaigns to uh, play through. Now, to make it even more fun, under each campaign, you've got a whole host of different styles. Samurai, Ninja, New Year, Hawacha. Oh, I'm not going to try to pronounce those. Uh, renaissance. There we go. Look. Pirate. Spooky. See, so, um, yes, so the game's just a massive and just lots to it so far. But um, I'm going to stop waffling now and just get in and let you have a just quick glimpse of the game. As I said, it's on the game preview for free right now on Xbox. So there's a little thing I've done earlier, but I'll just give you an example, right? So I've got to face the, I'm red and I've got to fight the blue team and I can just basically select... Um, where to place my troops, that's all I've got to fight, where to place my troops, I've just thrown a load of, down a load of club men, uh, throw down some archers, and let me just throw a uh, spearman down, for example, you can see how many points I've got to spend there, so, um, so that's that done, and let's see now what happens when I start. Didn't place my men well. Have a look around. Kill it, boys. Go on, archers. Put down some snakes. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Ah. So that's basically um, the gist of the game, and you've just got to win. The levels and then you go through each sort of campaign and level advance and getting better troops and different style of troops so have another run through that shall we and sort of playing a little bit else so you get to see a little bit okay so i better place that now place a bit of better troops um then let's see how this goes go on boys there we go i'll put a catapult down i can control someone and i can get my head hacked off go on boys get them boys Oh, oops, I accidentally restart it. Let's go again. <laughs> Let's go in there. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on, lads. Go on, lads. Catapult them. Few guys left. Oh, they're coming in the back of me. Sneaky. 
Cap 5. You got much of a chance. Ah! So, you sort of get the concept. It's not uh, <laughs> it's, it's not the um, most incredible game. Um, it's not going to win a game award. Uh, but then, ugh, the Stranding was up for a game award. So, um, But, I mean, overall, the game is actually really good fun. And a good thing just to jump into and just play. Um, and it's free as well. So, I, I suggest this is my, my third game I've sort of been trying to get into at the moment. And have fun with. I suggest you go and play it. Um, but anyway, thanks for all for watching. Please sub and share and like. And most of all, have a good Christmas and enjoy gaming. Bye for now.